and fourth graders, I'm excited to tell you a little bit about your materials today that are available to you. You do have drawing materials if you want to create more of a drawing for your work. You have collage materials if you wanted to create more of a magazine collage. And then you have some sculpture materials if you want to create more of a 3D sculpture, which is freestanding. So your freestanding sculpture materials are things like wooden pieces, popsicle sticks, tin foil, all which can be sculpted, wire pieces, and plastic bottle caps. Think about what you could sculpt with those. Your 2D materials are things like markers, which you can draw anything you would like that's coming to mind. And your collage materials are magazine scraps, which have been directly cut from nature-themed magazines. So in there, you will find things like pictures of water, pictures of animals, words about nature. So. You can utilize these materials in your own way. I will show you a couple examples. The first thing I wanna say is if a drawing is coming to mind, you can draw your message. Mine is people drinking out of straws and asking for more, and then it's directly affecting the animal's environment. My collage, which you could do with magazines or with some of your 3D uh, sculpture materials to create a relief, um, is showing a tree with trash, um, floating in it, and then the dolphin is crying tears into the water. And last but not least, you could create a freestanding sculpture. So you can use your base index card and build something up with your wooden pieces or sculpture materials. And mine is a person built with wire, throwing away trash into the can, and then that trash blowing away into the water. I do want to show you today first how to start your base. So if you do want to create a base, I want to show you how to make it sturdy. You want to think, first of all, like a freestanding sculpture is like a person or a tree. So they have a sturdy base. They're standing up nice and tall. And then anywhere where the limbs are connected to the body, you want to make sure it's securely connected there like an elbow socket would do. Or like a tree's limbs would be attached very well. When you are connecting something with tape, you want to come at it from two different sides at least and then address a couple more. So I'm going to start by putting this popsicle stick on my paper. I'm going to start by adding sort of like a tree trunk, if you will, and wrapping it so that it can stand up nice and tall. And if you start to see it bending in a certain direction, think of a person. How would they hold it up? That's where you want to find the tape and add it on too. So I'm going to get some tape. Think of where it's a little bit unsturdy and come at it from another angle. Now, after you have your base or your trunk or your feet for your freestanding sculpture, if you wanted to add another layer to it, you could attach it where it's teetering or where the limbs are meeting. Think of each layer as another limb of a tree or a person. And now you can add anything you would like to your freestanding sculpture using your collage materials, your drawing materials, and create meaning in your work. Remember, it's not about how large something is. It might be a billboard. Um, it's the meaning of the image. So this is a picture of a turtle in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with, with plastic. And if you see that same image on your phone, it's going to have the same meaning, the same impact, because it is the message behind the image, not the greatness or size of it. If you see something, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. So create big meaning in your small artwork, and you're going to be taking that home today. Have a wonderful art time and a great field trip.